motivation is the most important thing. Okay. And here I have to make an aside that sometimes people uh, think of, of monastics and they say, oh, you're just escaping reality. You know, you're escaping, you know, the, the, the turmoil of, of ordinary life by going and living in a monastery. And my response to that is, if all you had to do to stop your ignorance, anger, and attachment and all the turmoil they cause in your life, if all you needed to do was change clothes and change your hair, then everybody would do it. I mean, what a simple way to escape all your problems and stop your problems. Change your clothes and shave your head. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, all of our afflictions come with us right into the monastery. Okay, I, I mean, I really wish that the, um, uh, the immigration department, one good thing the immigration department could do is keep our afflictions out. Yeah. But unfortunately, they don't do that. Yeah. So it all comes with us right into the monastery. And in lay life, you know, if you have problems at work, you go home to your family. They understand you. They love you. You get support there. Or once in a while, if, you, if there's family problems, you can go to work. Your colleagues understand you and so on. In a monastery, you live eat, share rooms with, pray, meditate, study, do the dishes, everything with the same people, and there's no way to escape them, you know. And it's not that we need to escape other people because they're not the source of our misery. It's our afflictions that arise in relationship to other people. But there's no way in a monastery where you can, you know, go off to your, to your family that loves you, where you're, you get reinforcement and love and encouragement and a big hug. You know, you, you can't do that in a monastery. You have to stay there and all your faults are like right in front of you. And you, you need to work with them. So when people think of monastic life as escape, um, I, I chuckle because, you know, that's, that's not it at all, okay? Now, having said that, what is the motivation for becoming a monastic? Clearly, it's not to escape, okay? If you want to escape, better to stay. Uh, as a lay person and create a nice environment around yourself, okay? Uh, so the, our motivation yeah, has to be at least the determination uh, to be free of samsara. So at least some um, feeling that the, this cyclic existence of constantly taking rebirth one right after the other, that this is unsatisfactory. And we know there's a higher state of happiness and we want to attain that. So that's gonna be, it may not be a completely developed 100% perfect aspiration for liberation, but at least that. And then also if we can uh, even bring our motivation further and think that we want to become fully awakened Buddhists so we can really work for the benefit of sentient beings most effectively, so that's called the bodhicitta. If we can generate that motivation, that's the best. Okay, so that's got to be our motivation.